Hey everyone, welcome to Technologic. For all the new viewers out there, this video series will help you to unravel the complex technologies in the easiest possible way. So if you are new, subscribe to my channel so you can't miss them. And today, we are the day 3 of understanding how recommendation algorithms work. So if you haven't watched the previous video, I highly recommend you to check it out for better understanding of this video. So according to our last video, our smart assistant recommends videos to Jake by matching content. If he watches a video about AI, it finds more videos about AI. This works great, but it has a huge weakness. It can only recommend things that are similar to what he already knows. It just keeps him in a bubble of same things, which might make him get bored at some point. So how does he discover some things completely new and unexpected? So this is where the most powerful trick comes in, finding Jake's taste twin. In reality, this is called as collaborative filtering. So this is how it works. The assistant analyzes its notes on all of its users and find another person whose notebook of likes and dislikes is an almost perfect match for Jake. And when someone was found, he is considered as the hypothetical taste twin of Jake. The assistant then looks at what this taste twin has recently loved to watch. It might be a video on topic Jake has never even searched for. It might be a documentary on ancient Rome or about hypercars. The assistant immediately recommends these videos to Jake, making a powerful bet. It's like, if your twin loved this, you probably will too. And the most amazing part of it is that this process completely ignores the video titles or tags. Instead, it analyzes a giant database of user behavior, often called as the user item interaction matrix. And the secret sauce that finds these taste twins is a powerful math technique called matrix factorization which finds the hidden patterns in our viewing habit to predict what we will like. So now the assistant has two powerful methods. One that will find similar content and another that finds what similar people like. So this is the reason why you and your friends get same videos on your YouTube feed. This process creates a big pile of potential recommendations. But how does it decide the final perfect order you see on your homepage? And this is the job of the final step, the ranking. And we'll explore it in our next video. So subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it.